Hello guys, Lifehackster here and today I'll show you how to power up your Eufy E330 professional Wi-Fi camera and also the Tapo Color Pro using an Ethernet or network cable. One cool thing about a Cat 5e or Cat 6 network cabling is that you can hide it in your walls or ceiling and you will end up with a cleaner looking install. As to the Tapo Color Pro, because it also has an Ethernet port, you can set this up to be wired into your router or network instead of Wi-Fi, making the connection jam-proof and overall a more reliable setup compared to using wireless Wi-Fi. Now to make this happen, we will need two things. We will need a PoE switch like this Moker Link. This will provide the power our camera needs and also for the Tapo Color Pro, the connection to the router or network. We will also need a PoE splitter and we have the usual rectangular design, but I like this Line of Vision one, which is smaller and is going to be a better choice if you want a cleaner looking install. Before installing, I'll show you first how this setup works. Let's start with the Eufy E330 camera here, and it basically just needs a 12 volt DC power. We will use this DSLR kit brand PoE splitter and plug in the camera. And when you plug in the ethernet cable from the Moker link, it will give power to the camera. And you don't even need the PoE switch to be connected to your network. This Eufy camera only connects to Wi-Fi. And when you open up the camera on the Eufy app, you will see that it is working. Now for the Tapo Color Pro, we will use the Line of Vision Splitter. Plug in the Ethernet and then power. By the way, Tapo powers up their cameras with 9 volts DC, but 12 volts is fine, as you will see when we plug it in. And you have to reset the camera if it is already set up in Wi-Fi mode. And this time, choose the Wired Ethernet option and follow the prompts. And you will see that the camera works and now it is wired into your network. Now on installing this with the Eufy and you will see that this splitter is a bit too big for the hole. You can make a square hole and this might work. But if you use the smaller line of vision splitter, you can easily push this through the one inch hole. Connect the camera and feed the wiring in. And the base of the camera will cover the hole making it a cleaner looking install. Same thing with the Tapo Color Pro. Connect it to the Lino Vision Splitter, feed the wires in, screw in the camera, and now you have a fully wired Tapo Color Pro and a clean looking install. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.